We turn now to that rare tsunami advisory for the entire North American West Coast from Alaska to California. A tsunami warning has been issued for American Samoa after an earthquake in Tonga. The moments after the earthquake occurred, we really wondered if there was going to be a bad tsunami afterwards. Natural disasters are an inevitable force of nature that can cause devastating destruction, leaving entire communities shattered and broken. One of the most terrifying and awe-inspiring of these disasters is the tsunami. With their towering walls of water, tsunamis can unleash unimaginable power, obliterating everything in their path. But what is it about these massive waves that make them so deadly? Is it their sheer size and power, capable of traveling at hundreds of miles per hour and reaching heights of over 100 feet? Or is it their unpredictable nature, striking without warning and leaving entire communities devastated in their wake? And most importantly, what causes these monstrous waves? How can they be detected and prevented? Despite decades of research, there is still much we don't know about tsunamis. And unfortunately, scientists are warning that something devastating is going to happen. Tsunamis, also known as seismic sea waves, are one of the deadliest natural disasters that can occur in the ocean. They can be triggered by a variety of natural phenomena, such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, landslides, and even meteorite impacts. When an earthquake occurs under the ocean, it creates a massive amount of energy that can displace large volumes of water, resulting in a series of waves that can travel across entire oceans at high speeds. These waves can be incredibly destructive when they reach the shore. The massive amount of energy carried by a tsunami can cause widespread flooding and damage to infrastructure, buildings, and even entire communities. In 2004, a magnitude 9.1 earthquake off the coast of Indonesia triggered a massive tsunami that killed more than 230,000 people in 14 different countries, making it one of the deadliest natural disasters in history. Another famous tsunami occurred in Japan in 2011, when a magnitude 9 earthquake triggered a tsunami that reached heights of up to 40 meters in some areas. The tsunami caused widespread destruction, killing more than 15,000 people and causing a nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. Scientists have been studying tsunamis for decades in order to better understand how they occur and to better develop methods for detecting and warning people of an approaching tsunami. They use a variety of tools, including seismometers, ocean buoys, and computer models to monitor earthquake activity and sea levels in real time and to predict when a tsunami might occur. Despite the advances in technology and understanding of tsunamis, the risk of a devastating tsunami is still a major concern in many coastal regions around the world. Scientists have warned that with the increase in global temperatures and melting of glaciers, the risk of a mega tsunami is now higher than ever before. This highlights the importance of continued research and development of effective warning systems to minimize the loss of life and property caused by these destructive natural phenomena. However, did you know that scientists have recently issued a warning about a potential mega tsunami that could hit the eastern coast of the United States? One of the scariest things about tsunamis is that they can strike without any warning. Most tsunamis are caused by earthquakes, which means there's usually only a brief period of time between the quake and the tsunami hitting the shore. According to scientific projections, a massive tsunami is expected to hit the eastern coastline of the United States and it's likely to cause catastrophic damage. This looming natural disaster is predicted to be caused by the eruption of Cumbre Vieja, a huge volcano located in the Canary Islands. Scientists have warned that the tsunami wave caused by the eruption could be larger than any tsunami wave ever recorded in history. While we can't predict exactly when this disaster will occur, we know for certain that it will happen at some point in the future. Based on a model created by Simon Day of the University College London and Stephen Ward of the University of California, the mega tsunami could produce waves up to 100 metres high along the West Saharan shore, waves as high as 40 metres on the north coast of Brazil and water walls towering 50 metres high off the coast of Florida and in the Caribbean. Aside from the towering waves, the eruption of Cumbre Vieja volcano is predicted to create a massive landslide on its western side, causing severe deformation of the volcano itself. According to today's projections, an enormous piece of rock twice the size of the Isle of Man could detach from the volcano and trigger a debris avalanche extending up to 60 kilometres from the island. 
This would cause the seawater to rise as high as 900 metres and tens of kilometres in width, resulting in an unstoppable force that would devastate everything in its path. As the massive water collapses and rebounds, it would form a series of enormous waves, intensified by what is called a tsunami wave train. In just 10 minutes, this tsunami would travel a staggering 250 kilometres, causing unimaginable destruction along the way. However, Day and his team released a message for the public not to panic at this time, offering some reassurance to those living near the danger zone. Although eruptions of Cumbre Vieja occur at intervals of decades to a century, scientists predict that there may be a number of eruptions before its eventual collapse. Despite this, the resulting tsunami would be a catastrophic event with indirect effects felt worldwide. As we face the unpredictable forces of nature, it's important to stay informed and prepared for the worst. Are we truly ready to face the potential devastation that lies ahead? The destructive power of tsunamis is unparalleled, and the fact that they can occur without warning is a frightening thought. It's essential to understand the science behind tsunamis and take proactive measures to mitigate the risks posed by them. Furthermore, according to a study published in the journal Science Advances, a massive tsunami estimated to be 170 meters, 560 feet high, once hit the islands of Cape Verde in the Atlantic Ocean about 73,000 years ago. The research was carried out by scientists from the University of Lisbon who found evidence of the mega tsunami in the form of sediment deposits and boulders scattered on the island of Santiago. The mega tsunami was triggered by a volcanic collapse on the nearby island of Fogo, which is an active stratovolcano that is still erupting today. The volcanic collapse caused a landslide that sent a huge amount of rock and debris into the ocean, which then generated the massive tsunami. The waves were estimated to have travelled at speeds of up to 700 kilometres per hour, 435 miles per hour, and would have caused widespread devastation along the coasts of Cape Verde and other nearby islands. While the event happened 73,000 years ago, the study is important in highlighting the potential danger that tsunamis can pose. As coastal populations around the world continue to grow and more people are exposed to the threat of tsunamis, understanding their causes and risks becomes increasingly important. The researchers hope that their findings can help improve our understanding of how mega tsunamis are generated and how we can better prepare for and mitigate their impact in the future. However, mega tsunamis occur more frequently than people realise. A new study shows that a massive landslide that occurred in British Columbia in 2020 triggered a 100 metre tall tsunami in a nearby lake. The landslide was caused by heavy rainfall and occurred in October 2020 near Elliott Creek in the coastal region of the province. The resulting wave in the lake was so big that it caused trees to snap and strip the surrounding hillsides. What makes this study so important is that it highlights the potential dangers of landslides in coastal regions and how they can cause devastating tsunamis. The landslide that triggered the tsunami was caused by heavy rainfall, which is becoming more common due to climate change. As a result, it is crucial that scientists continue to monitor these regions for potential landslides and their associated risks. What kind of warning systems could be put in place to detect and prevent landslides from causing tsunamis in the future? How can communities in coastal regions be better prepared for these events? What steps can we take to mitigate the effects of climate change and reduce the risk of landslides? These are important questions that need to be addressed to ensure the safety of people living in coastal areas. Tsunamis are becoming an increasingly significant threat as climate change continues to affect our planet. Rising sea levels and warmer ocean temperatures are creating conditions that could lead to more frequent and intense tsunamis, making it imperative that we address the issue of climate change as quickly as possible. One of the most significant ways in which climate change is linked to tsunamis is through the melting of glaciers and polar ice caps. As these massive ice sheets melt, they release large volumes of fresh water into the oceans, which can disrupt ocean currents and create instability on the ocean floor. This instability can lead to undersea landslides, which in turn can trigger tsunamis. Another way in which climate change is affecting tsunamis is through the increase in extreme weather events, such as hurricanes and typhoons. These storms can cause massive amounts of water to be pushed onto shorelines, resulting in flooding and the potential for a tsunami to occur. 
With climate change causing more frequent and severe weather events, the risk of tsunamis becomes even more significant. The impact of tsunamis on coastal communities cannot be overstated. They have the potential to cause widespread destruction, leaving entire communities in ruin and causing untold loss of life. According to researchers, with climate change exacerbating the risk of tsunamis, it is essential that we take action to reduce our carbon footprint and work towards a more sustainable future. Now let's hear your thoughts about tsunamis in the comments section below.